Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading. So this is going to be a general reading. Pisces, sun, moon, rising, any placement doesn't matter if you resonate with this Pisces stuff, if you just click the thumbnail and you're not even a Pisces or have any relation or connection to a Pisces. Um, hey, hi, how are you? Thank you for coming by. My name's Abby. This is Rogue Pisces Tarot and that's all I do all day all the time so i don't know what this reading is going to be about yet i decided to try uh something where i pick an oracle um to do as the the center card of a celtic cross the oracle will sort of guide what the reading is going to be about and then i'm just going to kind of go from there so let me know if you dig this kind of thing in the comments down below you got 44 the thinker deep in thought are we my fishies you deep diving a whole lot these days, thinking into those thoughts, getting into your heart, trying to figure something out here. This is strategy, being analytical and logical. So I'll give you just the main meaning. Okay. It says the ability to reason and strategize is the focus now. Take things at face value and follow the logical path. Your calculations will prove to be correct. For in this moment, there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious. Things are exactly as they seem. You have all the information that you need. Keep it simple and you will win the game of life that you're playing right now. Okay, so for the Pisces I'm talking to, this sounds like, um, I'm going to use my writer weight. Um, this feels like there's something here that has possibly occurred to you in the last little while. You could be making a decision. It could have to do with a, a job, a relationship, whether or not you want either of those things. Um, maybe a step, a leap, um, a promotion, something that you're applying for. It could have to do with school. But it feels like there's the emotional part of ourselves that will take over sometimes and can cloud that when we're just like, is this what I think it is? And it's like... Our oracle right now is saying for the Pisces that this reading is for, yeah, this is exactly what you think it is. You are exactly where you think you are. Um, and when you pull back out of the feelings and you look at it, you're probably more accurate than you think. Yeah, Ten of Cups showing up here. So it feels like whatever this thing is, you're probably going towards happiness. You just want to be happy. You just want to be fulfilled. Probably come from um, a time that's been a little bit more trying with the Ten of Cups here, right? It's a rainbow. Those show up when there's a fortune after difficulty. And there's just this sense of wanting to be free. However, there have been some delays here. You do have Eight of Wands in the challenge position. So why is that there? Give me a little in here justice okay um so this very well could be since we have the thinker right you could have been mulling something over for a long time and there could be some element of like cause and effect that for some reason maybe you were trying to figure out what the justice in a situation was going to be were you going to handle something as the bigger person again right were you going to fly off the handle are you going to handle it maturely whatever this decision is um it feels like there's something about that where it's like, how did I get here and what am I going to do going forward? So let's see what's in your foundations here, Pisces. You're the king of wands. Okay, so it feels like you are the Pisces I'm talking to. I'm getting a sense of possibly someone who is a natural born leader, even though they don't necessarily like to be a leader, um, like a reluctant leader <laughs> almost. Um, someone who... This could be someone in, around you, but I'm getting more of a sense that I'm talking directly to Pisces themselves. A lot of Pisces can be incredible leaders because they're very, very good at seeing things from a lot of different angles, very good at taking ownership of the big picture, right? That zoom out energy, that's what the King of Wands is all about. Um, but sometimes a little reluctant to step up to the bat um, or to go after the the promotion or the acclaim or whatever. Um, I don't think it's because of insecurity so much. I think it's just because Pisces are on a different wavelength where it's kind of like the shit that matters to other people doesn't necessarily matter to you. <laughs> okay. It's like, I'm, I'm not trying to flex. I'm not trying to like get something just to do it. I just want to do my best, um, do a good job. Um, I want to make sure I'm doing it for the right reasons. Like I'm getting that kind of a, an energy from this. Let me see what's in the sort of highest outcome area here. Oh, beautiful. Three of cups. So a lot of celebration community. This feels like 
at your best, whatever this decision that you were trying to make here, the thing that you're thinking over, I'm getting this sense of, I won't be surprised if the fool shows up, man, because this feels like your toes being on the edge of that cliff, right? <laughs> Just kind of like really um, skirting the edge of something here. Just a second. Sorry, I had to shoo one of my cats off of my coffee table. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, I feel like whatever this is that you're trying to, you're trying to make your decision on, it's ultimately going to end up in not only like a sense of community. For some of you, I'm getting the sense of this being really work related, um, or it could be training for something that you're going into in the future or something like that, where it's like you're going to find the people that vibe with it. <laughs> like it's, it's, um, if you're sort of afraid of sticking out in a bad way, I don't think you need to think about that, Pisces. I don't think that's a big, a big worry, a real concern. In the past, you have Knight of Swords energy. You could have been dealing with um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This makes me feel like there might have been some sort of sudden changes, things that you had to react to in the moment. Um, you had to, I feel, roll with the punches in a really kind of direct way and almost like not let yourself totally tune into how you were feeling about whatever it was that you were trying to adapt to for a period of time. A sense of things kind of rushing and then almost like possibly why you're ending up in this sort of thinker position in the middle, just going like, whoa, <laughs> what the hell was all of that? Um, and what am I going to do with it? I think it's because things happened in a way that were sort of like unnerving in how quick they were, how, how oddly, how quickly things changed. And so drastically, you know, the Knight of Swords can be that energy of a rush in. Um, I am getting for some of you that you may have been dealing with people who are unfair, um, who are possibly a little brash. Okay. So like people who do not think before they speak um, is kind of a like a feeling I'm getting there. Yeah. King of swords. It's that kind of very analytical, um, cold energy. Um, and I feel like you almost had to just dig in and roll with it because it was like, what else am I going to do? Right. I'm not really sure. Maybe trying to like get a, a steady footing on whatever it is that you're, you're trying to now make this choice. I'm feeling like it's a choice towards a jump, but we're going to see how this uh, plays out here. What's in the near future for my Pisces? The Hanged Man. So I feel like for some of you, I'm going to be straight. Some of you might just kind of mull over things for a while longer. Um, but others, I'm getting the sense of the enlightenment being like, you know what? <laughs> I don't need to see the whole highway you know, I don't need to see the whole route in my my head perfectly to get to where I need to go. Um, why is the hanged man here? Ace of Cups. Oh. I Okay, so this feels like possibly a... Just going to be realizing that there's a path that's available to you where there's just a lot more emotional fulfillment. And that you're needing to move towards things where you're feeding yourself emotionally, physically, spiritually, however, um, is the most fair and balanced. And it feels like it's a time to really embrace that kind of energy. Knight of Swords can be an amazing energy at times, right? But other times it can come in and kind of knock us on our keister. <laughs> and it feels like this sort of mulling over energy, I'm getting a lot of that, is just like probably leading a lot of you Pisces, you could have already come to a place where you're flirting with new jobs, new positions, new partners, even in love, new friends, new interests, um, taking on things that are more fulfilling because it seems like you've had to, the past was built on adaptation and necessity. Okay. And it seems like now it's more focused on you going after what you want. Okay. How's Pisces showing up in this situation right now? Seven of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Incredibly hardworking, Pisces. 
there's a lot of things that you've had to tend and nurture and really sort of take care of here. And that abundance is waiting for you. <laughs> it, it feels like it's wanting to develop. For some, I'm getting this sense. We've had this sort of imagery of a portal coming up a little bit lately, sort of like the world card. And it has had this sense of like following the timing and just like working, keeping working on it. I'm feeling like there's probably a little doubt, a little bit of assessment, right? Maybe trying to think about like, okay, what will the harvest look like when it comes? How am I going to know? There's a lot of that kind of energy here for a lot of you. What's this? I wanted you mm, a truth about something here. There's a lot of things that there could be a conversation that needs to be had. You could have been finding yourself, I feel, talking to friends a lot and trying to like unpack your feelings about this, this thing that you're sort of mulling over right now. Um, for others, it feels like there's like the clarity of the, of the swords coming in here and trying to be like, okay, yeah, we know you're sort of obsessing a little bit about you know, is it ripe yet? Is it good? Am I, am I good to go? Am I going to be safe if I do the leap? And sometimes we really want it to be smooth, right? Whatever the transitions are. Um, hmm. And we can get kind of stuck on that. Like, what if it's messy? What if it puts me in another position where I'm scrambling for that stability again? And it's like these rapid changes that I'm not so sure I want to have. But this feels like an enlightenment that's coming to you, Pisces. Um, that this is exactly what it is. Um, it's going to turn out well. In your environment, friends and families, we have the Ace and Wands. So Pisces, I feel like whatever you are thinking of moving into is possibly very creative. This Ace has been coming for you. It's just been here over and over and over again. So I, I think it's like... Whatever it is you're going into, it feels like it's going to attract people who um, help foster that sort of creative spirit for whatever it is that you're sort of mulling over. And possibly a little bit of zesty spirit here, too, with this King of Wands. I'm, I'm thinking, like, if some of you are, like, possibly very diplomatic in nature um, and just sort of like, well, I could, but the smart thing to do is whatever, right? The smart thing to do is this other thing. The smart thing to do is to wait it out or to maybe I'll wait and see if this person texts me back or maybe I'll wait and I'll, I'll see if the job gets better or maybe I'll wait. Um, that's kind of this energy here of the Seven of Pentacles, sort of King of Wands and the Ace of Wands. I'm getting a sense a lot of you are sort of like, right, you have that ability to make decisions and go and see the bigger picture. Um, and there may have been some hesitation before and you could still be dealing with some of that, but it seems like whatever environment is around you is actually sort of stoking this sort of creative fire or this little bit of this king of wands type energy. If you have Aries, Leo, or Sag in your chart, you could be feeling those sort of areas being activated right now to sort of give you a bit of a, a push towards something here. Beautiful. Hopes and fears, we got the star. Oh, Pisces, Aquarian energy. This just feels like really wanting healing and peace wanting to be able to give to yourself and to others in a good way. This feels like really wanting to be very, wanting to stay true to yourself. Um, you may have been in other situations where it, it felt like your true nature, your true self, this sort of like vulnerable nakedness <laughs> that we're seeing here, right? From this person engaging in this beautiful little act of giving water like both to the land and the sea it's like there was something that was unbalanced for a period of time i think and now it feels like emotions are really just wanting to heal and get back to your hopes get back on whatever it was that you're shooting for getting back to you page of wands is in your outcome see i'm like it's sort of like <laughs> The king sends out their pages. The knight sends out the pages. The queen sends out the pages, right? This is that sort of <laughs> like almost like naughty, excited sense of adventure that comes in and goes like, come on, just, just do it. So it feels like for some of you, there's going to be like a lot more of an adventurous spirit in it. 
I think that the way that things have worked out in the past here have perhaps opened your eyes in a way that is just sort of like, you know what? I don't know if you guys, I think it was a Jim Carrey video. I think I was watching one of his speeches at like, you know how sometimes they give like celebrities and notable people like um, honorary doctorates or, or degrees and stuff like that. He was talking to these kids and he was talking to them about how his dad was an amazing comedian. He was a really funny guy and that's actually who inspired him to do what he wants to do and what he ended up doing in his life. And part of why he decided to go for it was because his father gave up um, developing that gift and decided to get a straight job, right? <laughs> decided to work in some kind of office or do something like that. And then ended up getting, after a few years, I think he was like laid off and then the family was in a lot of trouble and it was a whole thing. And he was like, you can fail at the stuff that's supposed to be the, the smart choice too. Like, that's not a guarantee. Just because it's the smart choice or it's what the, the accepted knowledge is, you can still fail at that stuff out of no fault of your own. Something else, like something can happen, a company can fail, something can go under, whatever, you know? So like, why not go for the thing that you actually want? And I feel like for the Pisces, this is for, that's sort of what's happening right there. There's a, a clarity that's coming into the situation that's just sort of like, when I strip it all down, what is my gut really telling me? And my gut is really telling me that this, this thing that I'm thinking of trying to make the choice towards, it's going to make me happy. But then I try to reality check myself with this air energy because that's what I'm used to. And I get kind of off kilter. This is, I'm thinking, go right into your Pisces stuff. Yes, four of wands at the bottom of the deck. Home, harmony, crossing a finish line, community. This is gorgeous. It's going to be a foundational kind of thing. It's the sort of thing that like, man, how many biographies or stories or things that we look at um, that we read or we consume, right? Where they go like, a little did I know that that was the moment that actually put me on the path um, to accelerate towards my goals or to do whatever I needed to do, right? Like people we don't always realize and we will sometimes discount those steps those jumps those things but it feels like whatever you're mulling over here pisces if this one's for you if this one's giving you the goosies <laughs> the goosebumps um you can fail doing the the thing you hate to make the safe money anyway um out of no fault of your own so if there's something you're really thinking about taking a leap on why the hell not I'm going to give you, where are we for time? I'm going to give you one moon card. And then I'm going to do the curses with the rebel deck because I feel like it. Thank you. Have faith in your dreams. Hell yeah. Pisces. Hell yes. Have faith. Have faith. It might not end up looking exactly like you thought it would. It might be a million times better. Okay. Let's see. On the table, please. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So these have cursing. If you don't like cursing, either earmuffs, fast forward, or I'll see you on the next one, okay? We have be fucking grateful. Gratitude came up first the other day as well. We have shit could be so much worse, which I know at times when I've been struggling, sometimes it's like it could be worse, and I'm like, go F yourself. Could you please... With that, I just want to be mad. <laughs> you know, just let me be mad for a minute. And you're allowed to be mad for a bit. You're allowed to be sad for a bit. You're allowed to grieve the things that didn't work out. You're allowed to do all of that. And then the best thing to do, I find, in my life, and kind of universally, people tend to say, right, start to find the gratitude, start to find the lessons, start to sort of find the, the good in it. Interesting, we have whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. I feel like this is what's plaguing you, Pisces. Is this kind of like, don't do it. It might be that the way that you're thinking of doing it could be that more the issue is what I'm feeling intuitively. This feels like, like if you're thinking, say you're thinking of quitting a job and in your brain, like you're letting yourself get pushed to the point um, maybe getting stressed out to the point of 
like thinking you're going to pop off and you're going to have this great walkout scene or you're going to screw with a file and leave or you're going to, you know, mess with a client or you're going to have an amazing moment where you're just like, F you, F you, F you, F you, I'm out, right? Um, that might not be the best approach because I feel like one of the, re like Pisces can sometimes, we can tolerate so much until you get to the break, right? Um, incredibly adaptable, but can sometimes let things go on too long because we're too good at seeing all of the different options and outcomes, I think. It's not so much that we're confused. It's that we have a very good ability to see all the different ways that it could work out. And so sometimes we just, we're compassionate and we can forgive and we can let things um, kind of sometimes carry along longer than they have to. So I'm thinking it's more probably the way that you might be thinking about going some about something. Oh, we also have get some fucking sleep. Yeah, you're being an ass because you're fucking tired face to pillow now, which, hey, this could be contributing to this feeling here, right? So take care of your physical body. The star is also a card that is about healing, downtime, um, getting physically better here. And then we have, what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you're waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory, right, babies? <laughs> okay, Pisces, I hope something in here was helpful to you today. If you enjoyed it, drop a like, drop a comment down below. I am running the free giveaway contest again for September. I just announced the winner last night. If you haven't checked that out, it could be you. The video has been posted, so go and see that. Um, I'm wishing you all a wonderful day, and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.